I am for the petition of my lord. This matter, my lord, in this matter, my lord, I am appearing for respondent three, my lord. There was a direction of yes, direction. There was a for inquiry. Yes, the report has come. Okay. The honorable division bench Actually. by order dated 26th of June 2023 mm -hmm. passed in MAT 1135-23 plus IA number CAN 1 2023 within bracket the district magistrate of Howrah and others versus Kashmira Begum Khan and others directed that to dispel any public perception or apprehension of the repetitions, repetitioners, that inquiry by the state police will be a futile exercise. The Honorable Division Bench appointed Justice Devi Prashad De, within bracket retired, a former judge of this court as a one-man commission under whose supervision the state police shall conduct an inquiry as regards the allegations made by the writ petitioners in the present writ petition. Stop. A report was directed to be filed. Stop. The commission was at liberty to examine and slash or cause to be examined such persons as the commission may deem it necessary. Stop. The court observed that it is a fact-finding exercise and the state police shall carry out under the supervision It is a fact-finding exercise that the state police that the state police will carry out under the supervision of Justice Devi Prashad De Commission. Justice Devi Prashad De has uh, forwarded the report dated 19th July 2023. Stop. I have perused the same. Stop. The report is very lucid and a detailed one. Stop. For coming to a conclusion with regard to the prayer of the petitioner in the instant writ petition, comma, the court thinks it fit to incorporate certain paragraphs from the report in the instant order. Stop. Next. It has been mentioned in the report that the following officers were deputed to form a team in order to conduct the inquiry and to execute the direction of the High Court. Set out the team members' names. Stop paragraph. Several witnesses were examined, including the petitioners and the staff of the BDO office hyphen Ulubedia one. Various documents slash articles were seized. Paragraph. The result of the expert committee as recorded in the order is as follows. Number one, the tint of ink, comma, applied for producing two strokes appears to be different. Number two, the writing instrument used to produce two strokes are different. Number three, the writing medium applied to produce two strokes are different. But the BDO 
illegally rejected her nomination form on 17th June 2023 by putting a cross mark or by striking off the tick mark in respect of column number 3. Stop. Kashmira Begum Khan and her husband categorically stated that they submitted the OBC certificate along with the nomination form. And that is why, comma, column number three, tick mark was given showing that the OBC certificate was duly submitted along with the nomination form. Paragraph. Shudip Chakraborty, comma Gram Shahayok, comma Bahira Gram Panchayat, comma Uluberia One was present at the time of filing nomination by the candidates. Stop. His duty was to record in a particular register about the documents received from each candidate. Stop. Shudip Chakraborty has clearly stated that the tick mark on the checklist of Kashmira Begum Khan was given only after receipt of the certificate. Comma. Otherwise, he would not have put the tick mark in column number three. Stop. The tick mark has been struck off after 14th June 2023. Stop. He stated that the video, comma, Uluberia 1 took the form on 17th June 2023 and struck off the tick mark in respect of column number 3 on 17th June 2023. Other witnesses, namely Mithu Mondol Hajra, comma, Habib Khan, etc. have unequivocally stated that the video, comma, Uluberia 1 had struck off the tick mark on 17th June 2023 by taking the papers, including the checklist from Habib Khan, comma, husband of Kashmira Begum Khan. Stop. Next. The commission noticed that in respect of the said seat, only two candidates filed their nominations, comma, namely Kashmira Begum Khan and uh, L U T F A N N E S A Begum. Stop. The seat is reserved for OBC slash women. Stop. Paragraph. Lutfan Nesa Begum was examined. She has categorically stated that she belongs to the general category and never belonged to the OBC category. She produced her family tree duly certified by the concerned Gram Panchayat to show that her biological father is not a member of the OBC category. Stop. The OBC certificate issued in the name of Lutfan Nessa Begum reveals that the father's name, that her father's name has been recorded as Sultan Ali Khan. Stop. Lutfan Nessa Begum admitted that she never belonged to the OBC category and her OBC certificate within bracket B was procured by her party men. Stop. The additional inspector, comma, backward class backward classes welfare department mr kripa shindur shamui kri 
पी ए एस आई एन डी एच यू एस ए एम यू आई हु वॉज एंट्रस्टेड विद द फील्ड एंक्वायरी एंड फैक्चुअल एंक्वायरी अबाउट द एलिजिबिलिटी ऑफ ओबीसी सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ लुत्फुन्नेसा बेगम admitted that he did not inquire anything about the eligibility of lutfunnesa begum to get the obc certificate obc hyphen b certificate stop paragraph she stated that the matter was placed before the block development officer uluberia 1 mr niladri shekhar de for inquiry and recommendation to the issuing authority for issuance of obc hyphen b certificate in favor of lutfunnesa begum stop paragraph the block development officer mr niladri shekhar de admitted that he did not hold any enquiry and without ascertaining the father's name of Lutfunnesa Begum simply recommended for issuance of OBC certificate. Ashik Khan, comma father of Jasmine Khan, lodged a complaint against Lutfunnesa Begum before the IC Uluberia, stating that she fraudulently obtained the OBC hyphen B certificate. by using the obc certificate of his daughter jasmine khan and that she did not have any blood relation with ashik khan paragraph the matter was reported to the inspector in charge comma uluberia stop Next up, Nakoma, who admitted receiving such information over phone, and thereafter forwarding the same to Shomik Kumar Ghosh, S A M I K, comma, subdivisional officer Uluberia, for taking appropriate action. Stop. Shomik Kumar Ghosh admitted the receipt of the message. from the inspector in charge uluberia but did not proceed with any sort of enquiry for cancellation of the certificate of lutfunnesa begum stop on the contrary the sdo assured the ic uluberia to provide documents if the matter is at all inquired into by the ic uluberia the uh, commission has opined that the subdivisional officer apparently is in connivance with the block development officer in issuance of the forged certificate in the name of lutfunnesa begum the block development officer and the subdivisional officer in order to give mileage to the candidature of lutfunnesa who does not belong to the obc category issued the certificate in her favor mithu mondal within bracket hajra and other witnesses clearly deposed that the block development officer was present at the time of scrutiny of nomination papers and the signature of the block development officer was found on such nomination papers stop the block development officer himself admitted that he was present at the time of scrutiny of the nomination papers of both the petitioners mithu mondal hajra APRO Uluberia Kama Shudip Chakraborty Shahayak Uluberia 1 BDO office and Habib Khan specifically stated 
that the block development officer Niladri Shekhar De struck off the tick mark in mm -hmm. column three of the checklist on 17th June 2023 by forcibly taking the papers from Habib Khan, husband of the petitioner number one. Paragraph. In view of the rejection of the nomination of the petitioner number one, the nomination of Lutfunnesa Begum stood accepted and she stood elected uncontested from a seat reserved for OBC category even though she did not belong to the reserved category. Paragraph. With regard to the petitioner number two, Tonuja Bega Mollik, the commission opined that the checklist was tampered with stuff. The video and the members of the staff admitted and accepted that due to mistake, the checklist of Tonuja Bega Mollik was tampered. The OBC certificate of Tonuja was submitted on the 15th of June 2023, but the block development officer did not take cognizance of the same and rejected the nomination of Tonuja Begum on 17th June 2023. The block development officer admitted accepting the OBC certificate on the 15th of june 2023 a paragraph okay. the inquiry was conducted by the officers of the state administration under the supervision of justice devi prashad de stuff from the report placed by the one man commission it is explicitly clear that the BDO and the SDO connived with each other and issued fake certificate now and issued certificate in favor of the private uh, in favor of the uncontested candidate in favor of the in favor of the candidate who was elected uncontested by relying upon false and fabricated documents and informations stop due to such act of the government officers Comma. The said candidate is facing criminal charges brought against her by Ashik Khan. Stop. The Returned candidate has categorically stated before the commission that she does not belong to the reserved category. Stop. Accordingly, the said candidate could not have been, could, could not have contested from the reserved category post and could not have been declared elected. Stop. The on the face of such facts, comma, the seat in question being Bahira Gram Panchayat Ulberia one, uh, seat number one, seat number one, Bahira Gram Panchayat Ulberia.
has to be declared as vacant stuff the returned candidate does not have any right to contest the said seat stuff next the uh, state government in consultation with the state election commission is directed to fix up a day for repoll in the said seat stuff next the relying on the facts which has transpired after inquiry by the one man commission steps ought to be taken against the block development officer niladri shekhar de the additional inspector comma bcw mr kripa sindhu shamui and mr shomik kumar ghosh sdo ulubedia stuff next the controlling officers of the fort said persons are directed to immediately consider initiating disciplinary proceedings against the aforesaid persons and to place them under suspension with immediate effect stuff next the report of the one man commission shall be circulated amongst the parties after the order is uploaded in the server stuff paragraph the court expresses sincere gratitude to justice devi prasad de who performed the work pro bono within the time as specified by the court even though a prayer was made for extension of the same stuff next the matter is directed to appear in the list once again on uh, 3rd august 2023 for recording for the steps taken in the matter not sure uh, if i had registration of the fir regarding this it's a case of forgery and tampering the commission has opined that the act of the bdo and the sdo is such that they are liable to be prosecuted under the west bengal panchayat elections act 2003 and also under various provisions of the indian penal code for committing cognizable offenses i'll mention the sections no, that I is also there that is also there yes 467 468 471 120b everything is there just imagine mr bandopadhyay had this inquiry not been done i'll add some paragraphs over here it's absolutely independently seeing the facts of the case orders are passed not that in general all matters to go before the election commission submission on one of what is in the report you cannot make the report is so very clear i was shocked it is really shocking the conscience of the court investigation